I'm John Roxon, and I'm an attorney at the Myrtle Beach office for the Joy Law Firm. As attorneys dealing with many auto wreck cases, we get a lot of questions from clients regarding property damage. Property damage, that is damage to your vehicle and personal possessions in the wreck, are handled through a different section of the at-fault driver's policy and usually are handled by a different adjuster than the one handling your personal injury claim. Although we generally do not directly handle a client's property damage claim, that's simply because 99% of property damage claims are so straightforward that they are resolved relatively quickly. Insurance companies are only obligated to pay for the repairs or for the fair market value of your vehicle if it turns out to be totaled, usually if the repairs are more than 75% of the value of the vehicle. However, a question that many of my clients ask is whether they can get depreciation, even if their car is repaired. The answer in South Carolina is yes, although every insurance adjuster will tell you no. In South Carolina, the courts have recognized that even though a vehicle damaged in a collision is properly repaired, it has lost some value if it is later sold just because of the fact that it has been damaged. This is especially true today when Carfax and similar sites provide information on the past vehicle of vehicles on the market. If your vehicle has been seriously damaged in a collision with an at-fault driver, you are entitled to some compensation for the depreciation in the value of the vehicle in addition to the repair. As the South Carolina Supreme Court stated on this issue, even if the car is repaired with all new parts and is put in first class condition, a wrecked car is always a wrecked car, regardless of where you carry it or try to trade it in or anything else, it is a wrecked car. The court stated, as in every damage case, the goal is to put the injured party back in the same position as nearly as possible as before they were damaged. 